Hey guys, how's it going? So I am super excited for today's video because we're giving our gazebo a little bit of a makeover. And we partnered with Plow and Hearth to do this. We've worked with them on several different projects and I wanna show you a few of them here before we get started on the gazebo. So this is the fireplace area where we use the Claremont patio set and it fits perfectly in this area. Like I couldn't ask for a better size seating arrangement um, and it's just perfect right in front of the fireplace here. We've used it a lot since we put it in here and we also got the proper covers so they got to sit out here all winter and they were covered and protected from any kind of moisture and snow and rain and all that kind of stuff um, so let's head toward the house so we installed the yorkshire window boxes from plow and hearth last spring i think it was you can hardly see them anymore because the flowers are doing so well um, but i really liked that they came in a lot of different widths which is what i needed i wanted them all to match but i needed three foot four foot and six foot wide window boxes which they had in this particular style um, so that's been really nice and these benches also came from them I've got two of them this one here and the one on the other side kind of facing each other and I like it because it still looks very formal this design but it brings a sense of coziness to this area and it gives us a place to sit which is always nice to have tucked in the garden here and there so now we're back in the gazebo and I kind of want to explain a little bit about what we've been doing with this space because we've been living in this house for three years we have used the gazebo there was a dining set in here that the previous owners left and I was so thankful for that dining set over this past three years uh, because we did use it a lot it was really it was great to have but I'm excited to bring some things in that I like a little bit better style wise um, and I do have a couple of things already in the corners like I have a lime tree here that's got some gorgeous fruit forming look at that and yeah there's just fruit throughout I've got a blood good Japanese maple right here and then in this corner I've got a pink lemonade lemon which is blooming and there are some fruit setting here and there um, this one was inside of our house and struggling a little bit so it's been doing a lot better since I brought it out here um, so that's really exciting. I do have some other plants I'm going to be incorporating into this space as well as some furniture. Um, I did hang patio lights. There was nothing in here and eventually I would like to have a big chandelier dropped from the ceiling. Um, but I'm looking for like something very specific and I feel like I'll just stumble upon it at an antique store one day um, and then we'll do that. But in the meantime, patio lights are such a fun festive feel for any space. So I did put these up. Um, like a couple of days ago and I'm really glad that I did because it's kind of an overcast day kind of a weird day for July um, so it's giving us a little bit of extra light so now what I want to do is I just want to start bringing stuff in and decking out the space so first of all I'm starting with this large rectangular rug it's called the indoor outdoor Brunswick damask rug it's about 7 by 10 feet and I chose it in this blue color because I've already got a lot of brown and orange tones going on out here so I wanted it to still go with those tones, those colors, but look different and fresh. Next to go on top of the rug, Erin and I brought in the Claremont dining table and chair set. And this is the same style of furniture that's in our outdoor fireplace area. And we really loved it there and thought it would look nice to carry on with the same theme in here. This set is made of eucalyptus wood and has a really nice medium tone color to it. The table is about 40 inches wide and 70 inches long and has an X detail on both of its legs, which I think is really pretty. It comfortably seats six people, and I really appreciate that each one of the chairs has arms rather than just the two on the ends, which is oftentimes what you find with dining sets. The chairs have an X-back design, which mirrors the same design on the table legs, and I chose the color sand for the cushions to stay nice and neutral. There's also a rolling bar cart in the same style as the dining set, which I think is super fun, especially for this space, because the gazebo is a little bit too large for just a dining table, and the four openings break up the area a little bit, making it difficult to place a table right in the center. So having this cart in one of the corners is really the perfect way to utilize the space. It's 16 inches wide, 48 inches long, and 36 inches high. It's also made of eucalyptus wood and has a built-in bottle holder, stem or storage rack, a concealed ice bucket with a lid, and a serving tray. This is the perfect place to set up food and drinks without cluttering up your table. To fill up the other corner, I used a set of chairs I already had that I picked up locally earlier this spring. I think they go really well with everything else that's in here, and those plaid pillows make it look and feel a little extra cozy to me, and it'll be nice to have one extra seating area in here. And the last thing to do is to bring some life to the space with plants. In one corner, we placed a large, beautiful pillar with a Boston fern on top, a smaller pillar to hold up a small Japanese maple, and then three pot feet to hold the terracotta pot that I planted a lemon tree in earlier this season. In the other corner with the larger lemon tree, I placed our vintage croquet set that Benjamin loves to play with and another small Japanese maple. 
Now in the last part, I get to decorate. And this is the most fun to me of all the setup. And I oftentimes have no clue what I'm gonna do until I actually get into the project. So we're just gonna speed this part up a little bit and then I'll give you a tour when I'm all done. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just so thrilled with how this whole area turned out. In fact, when we were trying to decide how to start this tour to show you guys everything, I didn't know which entrance I wanted to start from because I love it from every single entrance. It just feels so pretty and tidy and put together and cohesive, like the furniture, it goes together. When before it was just kind of a mishmash of whatever we had at the time and whatever worked and that was great, but this is just so much better and it's just been kind of a long time coming. So I've already told you about all the furniture and the plants in this area. So now I just kind of wanted to go through a little bit of the decor stuff um, that I put together for the tabletop and the rolling cart. Um, starting with this table runner right here, I decided late one night that I needed to have some interest running down the table and I'm a huge fan of table runners. So I ran down to the craft store and found this really pretty fabric and some tassels and whipped up a quick simple table runner. I also found some really fun um, hand towels that were blue so they kind of mirror the color of the rug um, and thought they would kind of be a makeshift uh, tablecloth almost. Um, and then of course I've got my chargers which bring a little bit of kind of glitz to the whole thing, a little bit of shine and sparkle. Um, and then of course my um, name card holders which i've had these forever and i use them every chance i can get and they're kind of fallish but i don't even care i just think they're really pretty because they're gold um, and then in the center i picked up a couple of eugenia topiaries the other day and i potted them up so i wanted to use one here and there's one on the rolling cart too i'll show you i think that brings really pretty height but it's not so thick that I couldn't see if I was sitting in this spot, I can still see the person that's sitting opposite me. Um, and I think that's really important. And that's why I kept these little centerpieces pretty short as well. I picked up a few of these flowers at the grocery store, like these really pretty, like, I don't know, like smoky pink roses and the sunflowers. I picked a couple branches of tomatoes out of my garden and some yarrow, um, baptisia, Virginia creeper vine, wisteria for some nice kind of drapey kind of look right there. And so this one right here mirrors that one as well. And these are the Cherry Falls tomatoes that are in my hanging baskets. And these are all ripe anyway. So I thought, well, I'm gonna eat these. We can eat these maybe at dinner. <laughs> um, so for the rolling cart here, here's the other Eugenia topiary. And the thing I like about this cart um, is that there's like tons of compartments for everything, which is so nice. So, you know, there's places to put all of your glasses. This right here is actually a tray. So you can either leave it here or you can take it off and like go serve, you know, your food or whatever on that. Um, this is an ice bucket right here. And then I made some lemonade and just kind of picked up an assortment of some pastries and raspberries, which I'm having a hard time keeping Benjamin out of these this afternoon. He was wanting to come over and snatch some of them, sneak some raspberries. And then over here on this little side table, I just have a simple little bouquet of Moms and Baptisia right there and room to set cups or plates or whatever in case anybody wanted to sit over here. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this transformation. Huge thank you to Plow and Hearth for partnering with us on this video to make this happen. Anyway, thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.